Hey guys, this is another episode of the Game Digger here coming at you. Today we're going to be recording a little bit of information on the PlayStation VR. As you can see, we're in the environment of the PlayStation VR in under under the water here and just enjoying the total immersion of the atmosphere and the gameplay. As you can see with the VR headset, you can look completely around, see above you, below you, side to side, and everything that comes at you. And the environment is so rich and vibrant, it's as if you're totally living the environment right now. This game right here is the Ocean Depths, and as you can see, we're going to continue to explore this depths. It's a little mini game. And what really is great about it is you see each aspect of the game as it comes deeper and deeper in the water. In the beginning of the game, you get a feel and a sense of what they're looking for as you progress deeper into the ocean. You are basically talked to by a person on the headset while you're playing and you're going to go deeper and deeper and what you experience deeper and deeper is totally unique to this game only. Now here we're going to start progressing further and further down and as you can see when we go further down into the environment we're going to be going down deeper and deeper into a hole. Now on the right hand side you saw there a small map of what's going to be happening. You can look above as you see when we're looking down here we're looking all the way up to the top of the ocean right there and you can get a sense of the immersion into the ocean deeper and deeper as you see different fish and different wildlife as you progress deeper into the ocean. And what's totally weird, you really don't get a sense of what's going on just in the game because, just from this video, because what, when you see it with the VR, you really feel like you're living the environment. You feel like you're totally immersed into a caged world right there. As you can see, there's a little drone taking us further deeper into the ocean that's going to really tell us the story of what's going on. They're looking for missing information from a, uh, a ship that went down a long time ago. As you can see, the light lighting is only from the headset that you have in front of you. And as you get deeper and deeper, the darker ocean is really kind of gets scarier and creepier as you continue to dive deeper. The different stingrays coming at you right there, which is so unique because it really looks like it's about to just jump out and touch you right there. And what's really cool is you see a little sea turtle up there above you, and it's just amazing because when you're in that world and you've seen it through the VR lenses, it is breathtaking because you really feel like you're going deeper into the ocean. We're going to continue to go deeper and deeper even further, which is going to get a little bit darker and less visible without the lights in front of you. And you can kind of get a feel from the environment right here, which is really, really cool. If you look side to side, exactly what's going on. There's a little screen right there that shows you how de much deeper you're going to be going. And you almost want to reach out and touch what's going on in the game. It's, it's that immersive. And this game is just a demo that came with the VR system. So it's really just the tip of the iceberg of what's going to be coming out soon. Now we're going to continue to go a little bit deeper now. And it gets a little bit crazier coming up here. As you can see, it's a little bit darker, and you only see the light from the camera and the light in front of you. And you start wondering, what's in front of you? How far ahead can I see? What's really out there in the ocean? And you see the plant life getting a little bit different, and you can see what's in front of you, but that's about it, unless you look around. And what's really cool about this is that I had multiple, multiple people in my family play the game, so 
if each of their experience was different. As you can see, it went completely black because your light went out. Now you don't know what's going on in front of you. But instead, you start seeing these lighted jellyfish in front of you right here, which is really, really cool. You can see a little bit of lightness down here on the right hand, left hand side. But you can still see the bars. And you can see the little jellyfish right there, which is really neat. Continue to go deeper and deeper. And you get more and more jellyfish coming up. See them from below. They're starting to just light up the entire area, which is really, really cool in the VR headset. Because you feel like you're almost like, oh crap, I don't want to get stung by a jellyfish. That's how close they get to you. That's how it appears to you in the VR headset, more like. As you see here, you can only see with the jellyfish. Without that, your headset light went out. It must be maybe because of how deep you are. I'm not real sure. Or just maybe the communication in the game is lost. If you look up here, you can see the jellyfish continue to floating up or we're just descending down further and further. Barely see two inches in front of your face, and it really, really has an eerie feeling throughout the entire game. You can still see the steel bars in front of you, and that's about it. All of a sudden, you lose communication again in the game, and all you see is the drone now. The drone's light is now lighting your way. And that's the only light you have, and all of a sudden, the communication came back on. Your light came back on. Now you're looking for something that's kind of special down there in the ocean, which is really sweet. I mean, the more and further and further you go in deeper into the ocean, the more and more you want to just explore and see what's down there. You start hearing some weird noises throughout the game as well. Stuff starts approaching the, the cage, and you start wondering, is there something around you? You see the headset, you kind of, I'm looking around. I'm trying to get a feel for what's going on. And as we get further and further deeper, we start to notice a, a, a sub down here. You can see how far we are deep down here from the little panel on the screen. And it looks like we're trying to recover something with the drone. That seems to be the mission from the game. And it's getting a little scarier because I don't know what's going on. And as you could tell from the music and the environment in the game, you can't tell because I'm talking, but from the environment in the game, it is so overwhelming because the music, it's just like a scary movie. It's just totally gripping you and you make you feel like you're anticipating. You want to just like, get me, pull me back up because I'm scared to death. Continue, I don't, I'm afraid to look around because I don't know exactly what is going to be around here. And all of a sudden I see this light. And it seems to be the drone that's kind of getting that sub down there and that, what's going on. And there's a sub and it's trying to, uh, the, the drone's trying to get the information from the submarine that's sunk down there. Just when you think it's starting to get safe, I'm, I'm wondering what's going to happen next. And all of a sudden, I, I feel like something's going to come at me because I don't know what's down here. I'm starting to look around like what is going on and, and you see the drone like okay it's got its information and it wants to go back up but they aren't pulling me up yet it's like there's a malfunction to the cage and they can't pull me up yet there's still lights down here I can see a little bit but you start to get the sense of something's going to come at you you don't know what it is yet and that's the scary thing about this whole scenario is you don't know what's going to come at you next trying and trying not to I was starting to get a little bit nervous and honestly when I was playing the game I got a little bit of a, a sweating feeling because you're like what's going to come at me and I think something's coming there it is and it scared the living crap out of me it was a big great white shark it's starting to rattle the, sh the cage it's coming right at you and you're just like holy crap what's going to happen next jeez oh Pete I'm looking around for it each direction, and you don't know where it's at, what's going to come at you. Holy crap, there it is, right in front of your face. And you just are afraid to look up, because you see that all I do is his big teeth coming at you. And it's kind of biting at the cage. Took off part of the cage right there. 
I'm afraid to look anywhere, and everybody that played the game with me was just terrified. I'm going to look ahead, and I'm starting to feel a little bit better about the environment. I'm like, okay, they're starting to pull me up a little bit. That's good. All right, that's oh crap! I felt something bump the cage. I'm like, where is it? Where is it? And you're just like, well, come on, get me out of here, get me out of here, people. And the intensity, you just feel like you're really at the mercy of what's going on in the VR. You see rocks starting to come down from the area in the ocean, and you're like, they're pounding on the cage, they're landing on the cage. You're like, where is that shark at? It just bit off that that little thing right there. Oh, God, there it is again. I had to look down. I was so scared. I didn't want to see it. It's so freaky looking because you you're terrified to see what's going on. You see the fin going on there on the side. I'm wondering where it's at. I'm where it's at. Oh, there it is again. Oh, crap. Here it comes. It's coming right at me. Oh, boy. Oh, crap. There it is. It's coming right at my feet. Can't believe that. Oh, oh boy. So, heebie jeebies. And that's where we're going to leave it off. Right there, people. Hope you enjoyed my first experience doing the VR. And I will talk to you soon. This is the Game Digger signing off.